Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create an effect sliced head with Photoshop. So let's create a new document with 17,000 pixels by 203,000 pixels. Okay, let's hit create and now let me put the image that we are going to work on our artboard. Okay, so there you go, just let me rasterize layer so that we can delete the, the parts that we don't want. Now here I want to delete uh, this background, I can do it quickly now uh, by selecting the quick selection tool and then select subject here on top and Photoshop will calculate the areas to delete. Okay, I will do this roughly because this is a tutorial. So currently this part is uh, selected. So I, I want to uh, delete the other part. So I will select inverse and then delete. And I have now my subject cut out. So now we want to take out the body. So I will use the polygonal last tool. I know that here uh, in the bird we have this um, irregular um, part but I will do something like this and then select just like that and hit backspace and we have now our head to make um, the piece that we want. So I will increase the size here a little bit. And now with the pen tool, I will grab the pen tool and I will start um, selecting some part that I want to cut out from my image. So maybe something like this, like that. Okay, this will be unfilled and then here I will select and cut the part of my image and I will create a new layer with the eyes of this subject. Then I will cut out the top of the head from the layer selected. Now I have the head here on top. Okay, so, so I will put it something like this. Okay, I think I can cut also this part into two. So I will do again with a pen tool. For example, maybe here. Something like this. It could be. Okay, so let's go again. Delete this, okay. So it's cut. It. Let me just delete these layers, and now I have here the draw also cut. It. So, okay, now we have the image in four slices, and I will put the this part with the nose like that make some alignments then put here this and I will just rotate a little bit also okay so now I have the image cut it in slices the way I wanted or close to it. Okay. And now what I will do is to make the, um, the filling uh, inside or uh, of the image. So I will grab the pen tool. Again, create a new layer here and start doing some 
shape uh, here okay so we have one here now let me create another one here something like this let's imagine that we have the three-dimensional head of our person okay i will switch the color here i will use maybe a reddish color something like this then i will create a new layer again for this one on top and select again the pen tool and let's imagine that the head here is a little bit rounded here on top okay and it will be like here okay and i will put it some yellow i believe or orange it's more vivid i think okay so now we have to put the the shadows over there so i will make the shadows on the first one i will clip the mask to my shape to my orange shape and then select the brush tool change the size okay and working in with 30 percent of opacity to click uh, some several times until we make our shadow more realistic as we wish okay and the same for the other ones so let's create if i don't um, clip the mask see what will happen okay i will paint um, off the, the the zones that we want so it's really important to create the mask and put it here and then the other one for the pinkish so i will we'll create a clipping mask and do again the shadow for this one okay now i will adjust just a little bit here because i'm not satisfied i think with this one uh, okay uh, yeah maybe something like this okay i think i kind of like it the result so then we could also paint the the glasses i think it could be something funny to to do it here so to make our image more popped at the end so with a pen tool just create a new shape uh, okay then for the other lens then i will switch the color to something not so colorful i believe but i will do see afterwards okay we have here our lenses maybe we can apply some radio some gradient here let me navigate here through another color maybe on purples yeah okay and if let me see if radial is cool eh, no it's too much okay i will put it linear like this okay now we need to add a shadow here okay like it was a statue so let's create an ellipse tool for example or we can do it actually this way we can select the brush tool again okay and change the the size here 
and stretch here the shrink the the brush okay put it on black and start painting like that reduce the size and there you go okay i think i can shrink even a little bit more okay yes i kind of like it okay now let's add some filter here to our image let me just put it a little bit on top okay so now let's add here a new adjustment layer and uh, color lookup and we will have some filters um, to our image so photoshop add, add these uh, filters by standard so i think i i want to add this retro style so i'll add this one yeah i believe this is cool like this okay now i think uh, we could add some blur to the image so let's merge all of these and filter blur gallery and maybe an iris blur or tilt shift let's see if iris it's cool let's increase this because i, I just want a smooth yeah just like so and it okay and there you go, the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, had learned something with it. If you enjoy it, please let me know in the comments below, leave your like and if you're not yet subscribed, please consider to subscribe. Thank you and I will see you on my next video.